on this video, I want to deal with the music industry, or what I like to call the wicked music industry. Now, my main focus is going to be on the industry as a whole, but I'll use a few key people to bring out certain facts. I'm going to deal with Michael Jackson and what really happened to him. I'm going to deal with Beyonce and Rihanna and show you what they're really about. And on a smaller scale, I'll deal with some other artists as well. So let's start with Michael Jackson. I want to go back to the end of his life first and break down what really happened to Mike. We'll begin with a speech that he gave in London where he deals with the music industry and his record label. You know, um, let me just say this. The tradition, the tradition of great performers from, and, and I really want you to hear what I have to say, the tradition of great performers from Sammy Davis Jr. to James Brown to Jackie Wilson. The story is usually the same though, you know, these guys work really hard at their craft, but the story ends the same. They usually are broken, torn, and usually just sad, and the story is very sad in the end, because the companies take advantage of them. They really do. And, you know, being the artist that I am, um, at Sony, I, I, I generated several billion dollars for Sony. Several billion. And um, they, they really thought that my mind is always on music and dancing, and, and, I, and it usually is, but they never thought that this performer myself would outthink them. Yeah! So um, we can't let them get away with, the, with what they're trying to do because no, I'm a free agent. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I just owe Sony one more album. It's just a box set, really. I can do the box set and just give them any two songs. So, so I'm leaving Sony a free agent, owning half of Sony. So... I own half of Sony's publishing, and and I'm leaving them, and they they're very angry at me because of it. But um, I just I just did good business, you know. <laughs> so the way they get revenge is to try and destroy my album. Okay, let me explain this. Basically, what Mike is saying is this: under his contract. He only had to do one more album, and then he would be out of his contract with Sony, and he was going to leave Sony owning half the company. Now, Sony didn't like that, so when he made his album called Invincible, Sony didn't promote it, and they did everything they could do to make sure it didn't sell as a way to get back at Mike for wanting to leave. Now, you've got to understand, Michael Jackson had a 30-year relationship with Sony, he made them a lot of money. He said, I generated several billion dollars. So Sony wasn't going to let Mike just walk away scot-free. They had to do something. All right, let's go back to the speech. Thank you. I love Unbreakable. You know, and Tommy Mottola is a devil. See, during the end of his life, Michael Jackson started to speak out against the things that was going on in the music industry. But it was much more than him just trying to get out of a record contract. Mike was involved in something much bigger than that, and he was frustrated with the situation he was in. So out of frustration, he called Tommy Mottola a devil. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. Now, Tommy Mottola was the head of Sony Music at that time. And Michael Jackson and Tommy Mottola didn't get along at all because Mike knew that he was only being used by Tommy Mottola. Mike was tired of being a slave, and he wanted his freedom. Now, Michael's father, Joe Jackson, got Michael and his brothers into the music industry when they were young kids. But Michael was always the standout star, so the Illuminati came after him. They knew he would be the one to bring in the big money. So they told little Mike everything he wanted to hear. 
and they promised him the whole world. All he had to do to get it was sign his life away and sell his soul to the devil. See, in order to reach superstardom on this earth, you got to sell out. Why? Because the scriptures tell you that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's why the Bible says, love not the world, neither the things in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Now why does it say that? Because the people who rule this world are wicked. And if you want to live like they live, you have to become wicked and do what they tell you to do. This is nothing new. Satan tried to use this same trick on Christ. Let's read it. That's Matthew 4, 8 and 9. Verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. See, that's what the music industry is all about. They offer you the good life, fame, fortune, and everything you desire. But in return, you got to sell them your soul. This is not make-believe. This stuff is really happening in the music industry. Let me show you what Kanye West said at one of his concerts. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. You can play with a few toys like a happy meal. I'm faced out, dog. I be on that moon talk. I wonder if God asked Mike how to moonwalk. He said, I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa came with a few toys like a happy meal. Then he made a reference to God talking to Michael Jackson. But let me replay that first part one more time so that you can hear him clearly say it again. I sold my soul to the devil. I sold my soul to the devil. Kanye West didn't just say that to be creative. He really sold his soul to the devil. You have to sell your soul to get to the level where he is. You got to do what they tell you to do. You got to act like they tell you to act. You got to dress like they tell you to dress because they own you. They become your God and you have to worship them. And when I say they and them, I'm talking about the Illuminati, the people who run the music industry, the people who run the whole entertainment industry for that matter. These people are Satan worshipers. They are directly connected to the devil, and by selling out to them, you automatically sell out to the devil. And that's why Michael Jackson called Tommy Mottola a devil. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. See, Michael Jackson grew up in the music industry, and he knew what it was all about. He sold his soul to the devil a long time ago. Now, most people will look at this picture and see a young boy making the OK sign with his hand. But this is not the OK sign. This is a satanic hand symbol that represents 666, the seal of Satan. The circle in the first finger is one six. The circle in the second finger is another six. The circle in the last finger is another six. So when you put them all together, you get 666. Six, six. Like I said, Michael Jackson grew up in the music industry. He's been involved with the Illuminati since he was young. Now, if you don't believe this hand sign means anything, take a look at these other celebrities and see what they're doing in these pictures. Here you see Beyonce, a top-level witch, and we're going to deal with her next. But here you see Beyonce flashing the 666. Here's Drake, 666 over one eye. Neo, 666. Shakira, 666. Justin Timberlake, 666 over one eye. T-Pain, 666. Lil Wayne, 666 over one eye. Now look at this next one. This is Lady Gaga. Look at her right hand, 666. But notice the symbol that's in front of her. 
It's a pyramid with an eye inside of it. That eye is the eye of Horus. Now Horus was one of the main gods that the Egyptians worshipped. That's why when you see this eye, you often see a pyramid with it, as you see here. This pyramid with the eye inside is the same symbol that Jay-Z always puts up. It's also the same symbol that's on the back of the dollar bill, because that's what this is all about, selling your soul to the devil just to make a dollar. Back in the day, Method Man said it best in the song. Cash moves everything around me. Cream gets the money. Dollar dollar bill, yo. Cash moves everything around me. Cream gets the money. Dollar dollar bill, yo. See, that's the mentality of these people. In the music industry, it's all about making money. Cash rules everything. All they think about is making money. These so-called celebrities are willing to do anything to be rich. Let's see what the scriptures say about that. Mark 8 and 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And that's what they do. They sell their soul to gain the world. Let's look at one more. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So you got people so caught up in chasing money because they love it so much that they destroyed themselves in the process. Yeah, now they got money, now they rich, but they serve Satan. And it also said they pierced themselves through with many sorrows because you got people who got everything there is to have in the world, but they're miserable because they have no type of connection with the Most High. And that's part of what happened with Michael Jackson. He was spiritually lost. See, Mike knew all about the satanic movement in the music industry because he was a part of it, but he was getting tired of it. He wanted to get out of that part of the business a long time ago, but it ain't that easy once you get in. Mike even sung about being trapped in one of his songs called You Can't Win from the movie The Wiz. Listen closely to these lyrics. You can't win. You can't win. Now in that song, he also said you can't break even, but he tried to leave Sony at least owning half of it. So I'm leaving Sony a free agent owning half of Sony. Michael Jackson was frustrated and he got ahead of himself. He got cocky and he started to openly speak out against the Illuminati. He called Tommy Mottola a devil on national TV. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. Michael Jackson decided he was going to get out that deal no matter what. And the results of that decision were tragic. Michael Jackson was murdered. That claim comes from his sister Latoya, seen here waving to fans from a car in Los Angeles. She says the King of Pop was effectively killed for his money. In interviews with Sunday newspapers, she says she believes her brother was surrounded by a manipulative entourage who fed him drugs and saw him as a cash cow. This so-called bad circle is said to have forced him to sign up for 50 concerts at London's O2 Arena, when in fact he only wanted to do 10. Latoya's also spoken of the moment when she found out about Michael Jackson's death. She was told to get to the UCLA Medical Center, but before she could, her mother was on the phone screaming, he's dead. Michael Jackson was murdered because he was no longer cooperating with the system. Now the Illuminati knew that Michael Jackson was the cash cow of the family. So they came to the Jackson family and made them an offer they couldn't refuse. 